Hello again and welcome to week 52, the last episode in this small worm bin weekly-ish update. I say weekly-ish because as you know if you've been following the series I haven't managed to get a video up every week. Now that's a little bit of plastic and I know in comments previously people have worried about um, sticky tape and plastic on in the bins that's attached to cardboard. I don't bother removing it because as you can see there it doesn't bother the worms at all. They leave the cardboard around it and um, carry on. So you remember from last week we fed the left hand side of the bin and the idea was to encourage the worms to move to the left where the food was. And you can see there there's not an awful lot of worms on the right hand side. So our cunning little plan did work. Most of the worms have in fact moved over to the left hand side of the bin which now makes it very easy to harvest them. And I did have a question in the comment section last week to clarify what I meant about using a piece of melon to um, harvest the worms, the remaining worms and cocoons. So if you watch to the end of this little clip, you'll see what I mean. So as is the last week, I thought I'll harvest them in a hollowed out melon. And that will go with them to their new bin. So just a reminder, this is the mother bin. And we're going to be saying goodbye to the mother bin now. And I just want to say a massive thank you to every one of you who've been watching the series, following along, commenting, asking questions. Um, you've been brilliant. I've loved every minute of it. You've been an inspiration, really, to keep going because I'm an accidental YouTuber. I made a clip for somebody one time and it was too big to send by email. So they suggested I put it up on YouTube and that's really how all this started. I put a couple of videos up and you guys started to engage and I thought, wow, people are interested. So I carried on. So thank you so, so much for following along, commenting, asking questions. Like I said, it's been brilliant. Now, don't worry, there is other worm bin series coming. I'm, I've got a, one in the pipeline on the stackable worm bin. So, you know, like the worm towers. So... The next little worm bin series will be on that, so don't worry, it's not the end of the worm bins. So I'm just rounding these guys up now, collecting them in the melon, <laughs> and they'll go into their new home, which is with their friends in the large green worm bin at the end of the garden. So we'll come back to these guys shortly. So we take a look now at the vermicompost on the right hand side of the bin and as you can see there's not very many worms left. So all I'm going to do now is put a slice of melon in here and what happens is the worms, because there's no food in the vermicompost, they'll instinctively make their way to the melon and then every few days I take the melon out, scrape off whatever worms are on it munching away into their bin wherever they're going to be, replace the melon and rinse and repeat as they say. After six weeks to eight weeks of doing this, there's no cocoons left to hatch and all the worms are out of the bin. So that's a great way of making the worms do all the work. So that's it folks. There's more worm bin series on the way, but that's the end of this little series. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have making it. So for now, take care, thank you, and good night.
Some